Crow is the newest thriller slash disaster movie directed by Alexandra Aja, and this film stars K. S. Scodelario as Haley Keller, who completely ignores the evacuation warnings of a massive hurricane in her Florida hometown, and goes on a mission to search for her missing father. But once she arrives, she finds herself dealing with much more than she had anticipated. Gators, basically. Now, if you are into brain dead monster movies with a lot of action and suspense, I think you will enjoy this movie. For me personally, I found the movie to be kind of boring. I'm more into action movies with good story and good character development, and for me, the story in this movie felt pretty much non existent. I really like Kaya Scodelario, I think she is a very talented actress, and I think she performed pretty well in this movie. She had to do a lot, and I think her performance felt very real. Same with her dad, who was played by Barry Pepper. But the movie tries to cram all this emotional and personal shit in the little amount of time that it had, that it just feels incredibly rushed, and thus, you don't really feel any of that emotion. But what did I expect, really? I mean, we came to see a monster movie, you know, alligators fucking shit up, not an elaborate story. Then again, there are still some things that I just can't overlook. The CGI of the alligators were clearly noticeable and wasn't that good, and people do a lot of dumb shit in this movie. I was almost screaming in the theaters multiple times saying, what the fuck are you doing? Are you crazy? Like sometimes it's so predictable what is going to happen. I actually heard a guy who said, oh my god, she is so dumb, in the theaters, and hey, I feel you, man. This movie shouldn't even have happened if she had just listened to the evacuation warnings of a huge fucking hurricane and evacuated like a normal person would. I mean, who knew that her dad was there in the first place? She was just that sure that she would risk her life for him. After I watched the trailer for the very first time, I'm like, okay, this is just another monster movie. What's so special about it? And basically, the trailer is the whole movie. <laughs> Seriously. Just save your money and just watch the trailer instead. Here's what I do like about the movie though. It doesn't always go in the protagonist's favor. You know, you see them struggle and you see them get fucked up a lot. I also like how the bloody and graphic scenes felt warranted. You know, it, was just, it wasn't just gore for the sake of gore. And I think the tone of this movie, while being very muddy and grey and just not a very pleasant look, still suits the environment of this movie pretty well and how she was crawling through this very muddy and enclosed environment. There was a lot of suspense there, and I liked that a lot. There also wasn't many cheap jump scares, like I expected there to be a lot of them coming into this movie, but I was surprised to see that there were hardly any. Ultimately, this is a monster movie, so if that's your cup of tea, then fine, I'm sure you'll find some enjoyment in this movie. Just don't expect everything else to be there. I'm surprised not a lot of people are talking about this movie, and the critics that are talking about it are actually liking it. I'm going to give Kroll a D+. Probably the worst movie I've seen this year, but um, film is subjective. Guys, thank you so much for watching. Have you seen Kroll? What did you think about it? Please leave a comment about your thoughts below. Like the video if you liked it, and drop a sub to help the channel out. Also, feel free to check out my previous video. Until next time.